Hello, my name is uh, Cordula Anhut Franke. I'm a dermatologist uh, born in Germany and working in the beautiful island of Mallorca. And I have specialized in aesthetic dermatology and laser uh, dermatology. We are going to treat uh, our 41 year old patient. She has uh, the initial signs of skin aging, of photo aging. She has a couple of age spots on her hands and we are go also going to rejuvenate them with the 1940 frags. She has a party to go to and uh, she would like to rejuvenate them a little bit. We can see on her some of uh, the lentigos as well, uh, which we are going to treat with the IPL uh, single spot before we will also use the Frax 1940 on her hands. Okay, I prefer to use a template here because we only want to treat the uh, pigmented lesions, so in her case it's not really necessary to treat the full hand. Uh, this is also, of course, to save downtime and to uh, give the patient not an extra uh, problem with swelling or redness. Okay, let's have a look. Here she's got some very light ones. This is probably not better to treat them with a PR handpiece. I'm going to try with the VL, but let's see. Yes, yeah, so here we can see we do have a little bit of change of the color, but it could be more. So I would change uh, to the PR handpiece in her case because these are very light and very fair lentigos solaris. So the PR is a little bit uh, more potent in, those, in this case. The system is uh, recommending us uh, 7 joule with a double pulse and 10 uh, milliseconds delay. I think this should be a good parameter to, to treat the hands. We are not too aggressive, but because she's still a little bit uh, tanned, I would be careful uh, to not over-treat her. So as we said, she has very little. She does this treatment every year. So um, this is the great uh, thing, you know, and people maintain the skin very well and she's one of our clients who really takes very good care of her skin. So here we can see this now very well. We have a really good oxidation process on this one. Let's treat these ones here. Great. We've been treating the whole chest, you know, with a really effective setting. We have a really good reaction on the vascular component and on the lentiginous, but there is not much redness involved. So this is so fantastic about it. And this is, of course, due to the selective wave uh, band technology, uh, which uh, allows us to treat with a very low energy uh, right in the chromophores, melanin and, and hemoglobin. If we touch your skin, of course, we do see a little bit of loss of elasticity. We do see the normal photo aging uh, signs. Yeah, so, but I think today we are going to concentrate on IPL and the Frax 1940. When she will come back next time, I would advise her to do also a collagen remodeling, the dermal remodeling, and to work then deep in the dermis, either with the Pico Way or with the Frax 1550. Uh, we choose the Frax, uh, the rejuvenation mode. She's again phototype 2, low suntan. I'm going to use the phase mode, so we are in 10 millijoule. Uh, this is usually, this allows us to do a really good treatment on a skin like this. If it's a delicate one, then I would rather reduce the energy a little bit to 8 uh, millijoule, but in her case I would stick to 10. And we work with 10 millimeters um, uh, spot diameter and uh, we can even go to 35% of coverage. Yeah, so the 1940 is a pure epidermal fractional laser and what it does is it opens the channels in the epidermis to allow us to, uh, to penetrate um, active ingredients. So afterwards you will get a protocol with vitamin C, with hyaluronic acid, with uh, retinol, 
to really uh, regenerate the skin at home. So this will be her homework for the next four weeks. And, uh, and the more she does it and the better she does it, uh, the, uh, the better the outcome will be. It's advisable before the treatment as the frax absorbs in water. Yeah, we have uh, that people really drink, drink enough water. So this is something that we also tell our patients, please make sure you really hydrate your skin well, drink, uh, drink enough water, use hyaluronic acid. In a very dry skin, we sometimes even combine it with skin boosters to make uh, the skin, you know, to refresh the skin from deep down below. There's different ways to do that. So in the end, we need four passes. Yeah, so it's very important really to have contact to the skin all the time and to be not too fast. This is an area between the boobs is something very important, especially for us Germans. When we wear the journal, you know, the special Bavarian dress, because that's the area which causes a lot of attraction. Good? Super. So. And now already, if you touch the skin, you can see, you can feel that the skin is already nice and smooth. So this is something, it's just a baby, like a baby. This is super important really to educate our patients not to stop laser treatments on, on the face. Yes, so the neck and the chest are actually the areas of our body which age even worse than the face and they usually, uh, they usually show our age a lot more than the face. So that we use really the open channels now to penetrate this. We are going to advise the patient to use the ephrolic at home twice a day in the next three weeks instead of just once a day. And um, to combine that with hyaluronic acid um, and retinol. So once the ephrolic is penetrated, we are going to use a mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is going to calm down the redness. You see she's slightly red, but not that bad. Yeah, so when she's uh, leaving our clinic, you will see the redness is already a lot better and uh, there's, uh, there's no problem. Okay, so now we will move on to the hands. So we already treated the lentigos. And now we are rejuvenating just the surface of the skin a little bit with the Frax 1940. Here we could easily combine that also with the Frax 1550, so with the deep de treatment to stimulate collagen. Or you can see that the skin is rather dry. She would also really benefit from a filling treatment or from a skin booster. The skin on the hands is a lot thicker than on the chest. But at the same time, we sometimes do see reactions on the hands, you know, because people are using the hands, they clean the skin, they wash the skin, so I tend to be rather careful, do not overtreat.
So this was number three. One more pause. So now we can see that we also have a bit of a reaction in the epidermal, not only of the spots that we have treated before with the IPL, like those, but we also have a slight darkening of the finer epidermal pigment. Yeah, and we see now clearly that the skin is very nice and smooth. We can see that she's been exposed to the sun, so she's been a bit more in the sun than she was actually aware of, and you can see there is quite a strong oxidation you know of some of the lentiginous much more than on the right side yeah even though we work with the same settings but this is due to sun exposure that she experienced in the last couple of days it's something that doesn't worry me yeah but if you imagine to treat the whole hand and um, then she could have a bit of burn even or burning like reaction so then she would not be too happy. Okay. We always try to educate our patients in focus on the decolletage and on the hands at the same time as on the face because otherwise uh, we see quite a difference between the changes on the face and on the rest of the body and this doesn't match at a certain point. So that's why it's so important really to treat those areas as frequently as we do treat the face.